Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Watch. Tim Allen goes on Jimmy Kimmel, sends anti-Trump Hollywood elites a message they can ignore. Tim Allen is one of the few well-known conservatives and Republicans in Hollywood. Ordinarily, they are shunned and refused work because of how liberal the rest of the entertainment industry is. The alienation of Allen worsened when he expressed his support for President Trump. But his support for the president was never more clear than when he appeared on Jimmy Kimmel's late-night talk show. Deadline.com reported. Tim Allen stopped by Jimmy Kimmel Live. On Friday night, where he shared his experience about going to Donald Trump's inauguration and how being a conservative in Hollywood is like living in 1930s Germany. I was invited, we did a VIP thing for the vets, and went to a veterans ball, so I went to go see Democrats and Republicans, the last man standing actor said. Yeah I went to the inauguration. I'm not attacking you, laughed Jimmy Kimmel, after Alan turned defensive. You've gotta be real careful around here, Alan replied. You get beat up if don't believe what everybody believes. This is like 30s Germany. I don't know what happened. If you're not part of the group, you know what we believe is right, I go, well, I might have a problem with that. I'm a comedian, I like going on both sides." Alan, who's previously spoken out about Hollywood being hypocritical, told Megyn Kelly on Fox News last year that he finds it odd that Hollywood didn't like Trump because he was a bully. But if you had any kind of inkling that you were for Trump, you got bullied, he explained. During his interview with Kimmel, Allen also discussed how people should be paranoid about our privacy being compromised by the government and other major companies. If a government drove by with a gray sedan with a camera on it, you'd be riding and going to Washington, he explained. But if it's white, with emojis and Google on it, yay, you're waving at it. They're taking pictures of your house. Allen is most known for his old show Home Improvement and his more recent show that he starred in Last Man Standing. A great show that got amazing reviews, yet was pulled from the network. Something Allen attributes to his conservative-leaning character. A Los Angeles Times article event reported that there are 2,500 of his entertainment colleagues who joined a secret group for entertainers who are conservative because of the fear that if they are open about it they will be ostracized from the industry," The Washington Post reported. In 30 years of show business, I've never seen it like this, an unnamed actor told the outlet. If you are evenly quorum to Republicans, you are excommunicated from the Church of Tolerance. Since it premiered several years ago, Allen's show has been hailed as a rare counterexample to Hollywood politics. Finally, we have a hero who hunts, fishes, watches sports, and occasionally drives a tank, the imaginative conservative wrote. But Allen himself has complained of network censorship when his protagonist, an alpha male family man whom the actor has called an educated Archie Bunker, tries to go after liberal icons. Allen admits he has gotten more than one warning to stop calling President Obama a communist, the TV page reported in 2015. Allen didn't sound so dire during the Republican primaries, when The Hollywood Reporter asked whether he vented his own political views through his character. It's getting more and more comfortable, he said. These guys know me so well that they're writing stuff that is exactly what I would have said. It's a marvelous thing when you have liberal people writing for, a show like this. And he sounded lukewarm about the prospect of a Trump presidency. Forget the stupid s, he says about immigrants, Allen said. That's just ignorant. But he might be able to do the stuff that really needs fixing. After the election, on Fox News, Allen compared Trump to an amateur performer with very bad comic timing. I don't want to defend the guy, he said. The industry has become more toxic to conservatives since Trump took office, the Los Angeles Times reported. Workers complained of political shouting matches on set and the professional shunning of those known to hold right-leaning views, although some had enough celebrity to speak out safely. Tim Allen is a comedic genius who has found success in the entertainment industry for over 30 years. He has been able to carve out a spot for himself as a high-profile, high-profiting, and well-known conservative actor. Something that almost none of his other counterparts have been able to do. Which is exactly why he has found success, especially with Last Man Standing. It was something that spoke to real people, middle-class Americans. And it is this messaging that won Republicans power in the general elections as well as the midterm elections. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.